Last week, the president signed an important piece of legislation that we sent to him, the National Defense Authorization Act. Uh, there were many important components of that bill that strengthen America's national security. Uh, but one of the components in that bill requires the president to put together and lay out a plan to defeat ISIS and to submit that plan to Congress by mid-February. Uh, while the president continues to talk about the national security threat posed by global warming, the American people want more focus put on the strategy to defeat ISIS. And in the House, we've been focusing on national security and energy security and jobs in the economy. Uh, and this week is no uh, no difference. In fact, we're going to be bringing a legislation to the floor to continue that focus on all of those different components, uh, continuing to focus on national security, just like the bill we passed two weeks ago with a veto-proof majority uh, to actually require vetting of refugees that come to America. Uh, but then also when you talk about energy security, uh, not only is it important to our economy, uh, when you look at the architecture of abundance that we're going to be bringing to the floor, but it's important to our allies all around the world. Uh, one of the amendments that's going to be brought forward deals with uh, lifting the ban on oil exports. Uh, this is something that will not only create thousands of good jobs in America, but actually give us the ability to help our allies around the world who don't want to have to get their energy from Iran or from Russia. Now they'll be able to get that energy from America, creating American jobs and helping our allies around the world at the same time. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at some of the regulations uh, that we're going to be addressing with the Congressional Review Act, uh, this new source performance standard, yet one more example of unelected bureaucrats over at the EPA trying to bring forth regulations that will kill jobs in America and increase energy and other costs on hardworking taxpayers who are trying to struggle to get by. Uh, that, that money ought to be in the pockets of hardworking taxpayers so they can buy Christmas gifts for their families, uh, not to send more money to Washington because of radical regulations. Uh, so again, good, important legislation the House is moving to focus on national security, energy security, and jobs in the economy.